Hey, hey, La Perinos. It is Avi from Science and Swords once again. Uh, we have just received a new shipment from Atelier Nemesis, and we've got a whole bunch of fantastic new stuff, as well as top-ups of the old. So, no point going into the old stuff. Let's check out some of the new things. Uh, so, this has been on the site for a while. We uh, haven't received one before. It's just the basic wood axe. Nice basic weapon, as is the case with all of the Nemesis axes. It is uh, cross-cord, reinforced. You would be able to drag someone's shield, uh, you know, pull them out of the line, and then have the other people in your skirmish line stab them to death like you meant to with a proper axe. Uh, do love these things so very much. So, let's see what else is new in the pile. Uh, first time getting it in, we have the Chaos Flanged Mace. As you can see, it is a very nasty head. We got it in nice winter blue. Uh, it is available in red as a default. Theoretically, it's actually available in any bloody color you want. Uh, you just have to ask first, and there may be an additional fee for non-standard color options. But, yeah, that's actually quite nice and soft to hit someone with, uh, or at least hit me with. Uh, good weapon. Let's see what else we got. Ah, speaking of flanged, they're finally making flanged flail. Uh, try to say that several times repeatedly and you will eventually tip over. So basically it's the exact same flange head, just on the nice little nemesis chain there. And you'll be able to, you know, get in over the shields, still counts for a hit, push um, Again, customizable. This is available with either the wood or the uh, metal haft, and available in multiple lengths along the haft. Theoretically, probably available in multiple lengths along the chain, but you're going to be adding more and more stress every link you add. So, two links should be enough. It's game legal for every system here. So, pretty good. Oh, how does it feel on the hit? Fine. That wasn't even pulling on the blow. Next up, we have... So, one of the few complaints we've ever received about Nemesis is the cost. Of course, you're paying for a superior quality product, but people really, really like their stabby boys, their nice long pole arms and naginatas, and all the naginatas that uh, Nemesis had previously were the fancy ones, the Elithri, the Eldar, etc. So, we now have plain, plain naginata. Uh, it's only a little bit more expensive than the equivalent from Kali. I can't remember if that's the Jingu or the Hangaku. One of you people in the comment land will know. Um, we have a lot of weapons, it's hard to keep them all straight, man. Give me a break. Uh, but yeah, pretty good. Uh, the foam is actually quite soft along the thing. It's got a little bit of jiggle in the haft. And uh, honestly, that is actually something you do want. It is actually historically accurate because if they don't have a little bit of jiggle, they just snap when you hit things. And as for thrust ability, uh, it feels like it should be... This is like the worst blade for seppuku ever. Yeah, I'd be happy getting stabbed with that on fit. Well, not happy, but you know what I mean. Be fine getting stabbed with it on that. While we're on the topic of Japanese weapons, Deadpool 2 is still in the cinemas, still really hot topic. So we have sizing issues. Oh, I feel I feel several kinds of emasculated. But there are two of them. We have the uh, the Wakazashi. These are basically dagger-length versions of katana. Katana being a generic word for sword, etc., etc. I know. You don't have to tell me, but it's easier for everyone else watching. So, um, thrust safe, I would say so. The cores are a little bit thinner than previous Nemesis daggers appear to have been using, so they actually do have a fair bit of flex. If you are going to give someone a good old shanking, uh, obviously pull the blow. You're meant to pull the blow. But there is actually a chance that they will, you know, snap if you don't pull the blow. Um, and I would not recommend attempting to block incoming full weapon strikes with these dagger length ones as you can do with some of the other Nemesis blades like the Ritual Knife. Uh, speaking of new daggers, we've got the new Fey Dagger. Ooh, check it out with all that handle detail. Ooh. I'm not quite sure if, uh, you know, the, the pearlescent texture is showing up uh, on video there. But um, it is gold and pearlescent, it's very cool. Same thing with the core again, it's, it's quite flexible, so if you are going to be giving someone the shanking, you know, make sure that you pull the blow there. Uh, too much force, and obviously, you know, 
that's your problem, buddy. Uh, the grip, uh, as you saw, which was textured, that's actually really quite nice in the hand. It's like the Eldar Saber. Actually feels quite comfy. Um, yeah, so... Oh, and the cross guard is a fairly solid chunk of silicon, so that should actually, you know, be able to withstand a little bit of damage there. Um, speaking of nice new nasty things, <laughs> scimitar of the damned. Check out the pommel. I'm a skeleton. Um, I actually really do like the Nemesis scimitar style blades. I find that they swing very naturally. They take your arm with the arc of the swing that you intended to go for. So the fact that, you know, this one's actually a two-hander as well, I think will find a very comfortable niche on the battlefield, particularly for the more piratey style or even middle east. Sorry about that guys, a little bit of technical difficulties there. Fix now. Obviously there's going to be a little bit of a stitch there in the video. Who cares? Uh, as we were discussing Arabian themed warbands, <gasps> Arabian Nights, like Arabian copyright infringements, Disney don't send me a letter, etc. Um, <laughs> I gotta stop doing that, we'll get in trouble one day. But yeah, so we've got this uh, new uh, Middle Eastern style scimitar. Um, I think that the paint job on the handle is just absolutely wonderful. Let's just bring it in. Uh, it would be lovely if we could actually turn these little things into like acrylic style gems, but um, you know, that's been done in the past. Calamasal Sword of Eden had it. It was not a great option. Uh, if your hand gets struck against them, they get embedded. If you're not wearing gloves, it's not fun. Personal experience there. Um, but you know, if you can figure out some sort of clear latex or silicon to do it yourself, let us know, that would be really cool. Um, as I was mentioning with the Scimitar of the Damned, you know, swings nicely. It's a little bit heavier than the Scimitar of the Damned, actually. There seems to be a fair bit of weighting in the handle just here. Um, I have no idea how historically accurate that is. It is not actually a form of sword that I am familiar with in a realistic context. And lastly, um, not so much a new thing, it's something that people aren't really so much aware of, the lovely basket-hilted gentleman's rapier. Uh, this is one of the better thrusting blades from Nemesis. And uh, the only downside to it at all is this lovely little bit is prone to a little bit of tearing if uh, other people's blades get stuck in there or whatever. But, you know, you can't make it out of metal without it being problematic on field. It is, however, an absolutely Shockingly lovely blade, and it fits in just so many timelines. Uh, you know, your sort of your pirateers, your sort of even just turn of the 20th century dueling with you, sir, have insulted my honor. Ugh. Um, so, yeah, it is actually probably one of my favorite non chaos blades from Nemesis because we all know I love my chaos. But, uh, if you do require the gallivanting look about your character, because ha 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 ha, he's a hero, then perhaps you would like to consider the lovely amount of detail in this basket it held. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it for the new Nemesis stock. We've got some refills of old favorites, such as uh, Jon Snow's Long Claw, uh, a couple of the Eldar stuff, heaps of spears, because you guys seem to love their spears. Um, otherwise, that's pretty much it. We'll see you on the battlefield.